So I've just turned a, a part on the lathe, turned the diameter and, and faced the end of it off. Now I'd like to go ahead and, and turn a radius on this corner. I'd like to get rid of this sharp corner and maybe put a, a 3 16 radius on it. How do I go about doing that? Well, the most common way of turning a radius on the lathe is, is to grind a form tool, the proper radius, and just plunge the form tool into your part. Well, here's a, couple, here's a few form tools here I've ground over the years, various radii. Um, I, I discussed uh, making form tools a little bit in my uh, thread cutting video on how to grind a threading tool. I mentioned that a, a threading tool is a form tool and I talked a little bit about grinding one in, in that video. Basically it's a form tool is if you look at it straight down from the top you can see the, the form you want to cut ground into the tool and the top of the tool is, is flat. The form tool is meant to be used in a horizontal orientation. So you see there's no back rake on any of these tools. They're just flat on the top. Well, there's, there's a lot of work that goes into making a tool like this. Uh, this one I kind of cheated. I used a surface grinder on it, but uh, you can make them by hand. Just get your radius gauges and just go to work on them with a pedestal grinder. And with a little, little care, you can end up with a pretty nice looking form tool. But it's a lot of work. Um, there is an easier way to do it. I, I made a couple videos back. I, I made a video on how to use corner rounding end mills. And in that video, I mentioned that uh, a corner rounding end mill can also be used as a form tool on the lathe. And I've had several requests since then asking how you do that. So I thought I'd just throw together this a quick video here tonight to give a little demonstration of how to use a corner rounding end mill in the lathe. Um, well, if you, if you look at a corner rounding end mill, you can see it's it's a form tool just like the lathe tools, except there's four flutes in this case instead of just the one. And in the case of an end mill, uh, it's the, the cutter that rotates against a stationary piece of work. And on a lathe, it's just the opposite, right? The cutter's stationary and the work rotates. So we just, we can use, we can just use, pick one of these uh, flutes on the corner rounding end mill and put it in our, our tool post and just use it as as a form cutter. Um, uh, these cutters work best with a, a quick change tool post like tool post like this. You can use them with with a lantern type tool post. One of these guys, I got this one with, with my lathe I think 30 years ago and I don't think I've ever used it. Um, but you can, if this is all you have, you can use you have one that fits, this one won't fit, but you can use it with a lantern type tool post, but you're going to have to shim the, the tool bit up to get it on center on the center of the part, because it has to be, the top of the, of the form tool has to be in a horizontal plane, it can't be, it can't be tipped back, it can't be above or below the, uh, the center line of the work, it has to be on center and horizontal, so if you use a, a post like this, you have, you're going to have to shim it up to get it high enough. So these guys, um, the quick change posts are much easier to use for this type of work. So basically you just put your, your tool in, your cutter into it and kind of rotate it till it's uh, horizontal. And also, on a, with, the thing about a form cutter is there's, there's always a lot of the cutter in contact with the work. So the, the possibility of chatter is pretty high, so keep everything up tight, close to the Reduce overhang as much as you can. Keep everything up close to the tool post. So let's go ahead and tighten this thing down. Apologize for the camera work. I'm kind of doing this one-handed here. All right. Next thing we have to do is we have to set the height of the tool of the uh, cutter. We want to make sure it's uh, vertically. It's on the center of the part. I don't know if you can see that. We're a little bit low right now, so let's bring it up. I'm looking at the mark in the center of the part against the, the top edge of the of the tool that we're, of the flute we're using on the tool. All right, so we're we're set up with our tool bit. Now it's pretty much the same as on the milling machine. We have to pick up, we have to align the tool to the work. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's turn your spindle on. And let's start out by uh,
lining up the uh, tool longitudinally on the x-axis, I guess you would call it. So we just run the tool up to the end of the part until it just touches, like that. And then we'll set our carriage stop. You can either use a hard carriage stop or a, an indicator stop like this. See if I can do this with one hand. So dial that into zero. That's going to be what we're, once we, this is be our, our depth that we feed the tool in. So we know where to stop. Okay, so now we got that side, that part of the tool set. Let's move it over a little bit and run it in till, whoops, that was a little deep. Let's run it in till it just touches the uh, diameter. Right about there. Okay, we don't need to set this dial because we're not going to move it. We're just going to leave it right there. So we're pretty much ready to cut. It's, uh, let's slow it down a little bit more. We want to go as slow as we can on this because we don't want it to chatter. There's a lot of, uh, like I said, there's a lot of uh, tool in contact with the work, so it's, it's going to want to chatter. So oil everything up good with some nice heavy cutting oil. And just start feeding it in. Watching our dial here. So we know when to stop. Okay, we're getting close. Ten more thousandths. We've got a little chatter going here, so back off a little bit. Just kind of sneak up on it. It's a nice finish. You know, these these uh, cutters are accurately ground, so it makes a really nice, smooth, accurate radii. And uh, that's basically how you use a corner rounding end mill as a form tool on the lathe. See you next time.